Hi, I'm Dar from TAPS, and with me here is John B. of TAPS, and he is going to demonstrate his tincture for medicinal marijuana. Okay, there are several things you need to do to get started with. Number one thing that I've learned is for the absorption when you're manufacturing a tincture is you want something with an animal fatty acid an animal fatty acid because it helps you absorb the THC better or if you don't want to use an animal product you can use coconut oil but you cannot use vegetable oil Crisco or any of the other ones if you want to use something to help the absorption you either use real butter or coconut oil okay so what we're seeing here is everything you need to make a tincture correct correct now to start things off with the number one thing I always do so that you can get better absorption and better processing is I always take and I pulverize up my marijuana, which is why I have the Mr. Coffee blender here. You mean you grind it? I grind it, yes. You don't pulverize it, you're well, grinding. Pulverize and grinding just depends on how you're looking at it. But that's one of the first things. That way it makes it fine so that when you take and distill it with the alcohol to remove the TH help remove the THC from it it's easier for it to process and remove the stuff and it covers more area on it so you don't have to use as much alcohol or let it sit for as long as if you were just using hot water okay so basically uh... as we all know the, we're using a mister coffee grinder and uh... we set it on the lowest settings and we basically turn it into powder because it seems to uh... work better for your taste it works correct? Quick, it makes it process so you can make it a lot quicker so it doesn't have to sit as long in the alcohol to process it. Okay. The Mr. Coffee Grinder from Walmart for twenty dollars. Works very well. Now, a couple of things when it comes to grinding, you want to grind it fairly fine, but you also don't want to grind it too much because if you over grind it, what will happen is if you are going to smoke any of it and it's ground too fine, you will not be able to get a good burn to get it to where it inhales properly. But if they're if they're making a tincture, they don't need to worry about. They don't that, need though. to worry about that if they're doing a tincture. You want it as fine as you can get it. Yes. Uh, what kind of marijuana are you using to medicinal marijuana? That is, to uh, make your tincture. Okay. Actually, I'm using a combination of two. I'm using one that's called an indica, and one that's a, what's called a hybrid indica sativa, because they actually have three different types. The and uh, the. The uh, that what you got in your hand is the white willow. Yeah, this is what called this one's called white willow. And the other one's called strawberry cough. Strawberry cough, yes. That's okay, correct. that's what I thought. So you're putting half and half of mm -hmm. both of the types of medicinal marijuana in there. Yes. Okay, uh, so you're gonna grind these two. Uh, what settings are you gonna use? Well, on this one, I'm going to be using coarse with four cups, which is the smallest amount that you can do with this coffee grinder. Okay, now that this is all fully ground, and what I consider fully ground is when there is um, pretty much no stems or anything left in there. It's all a fine powder. The next thing is getting it into the container, which as you can see, it, it sticks really well, so we have to work on that somewhat. So I'm going to take and put it onto a little funnel here to tap some of it out. And then take this, put into a container for mixing with the distilluent, which is the alcohol to help process it. And uh, what, what, you're using Everclear, right? Isn't that 95% grain alcohol? Yeah, it, we're using a real pure one because at that concentration, it helps dissolve everything in there at the best and you're not you would never do any of this straight because this is it gets mixed in with tea or if you're cooking something or anything like that you're using it to in addition to something else you don't do this straight with the Everclear because that could make you very sick or kill you yeah well, well I can imagine Everclear is not something to play with no if you want to keep it safe you can go with a uh, one that isn't as strong but you, the grain alcohol at that constituency is best for processing this stuff. So basically you're going to use a very small amount of Everclear. Okay John, so um, what are you doing next? Uh, how much? Show, show the people here how much you 
how much alcohol you're going okay. to this, use on this. With this here, I'm going to take. Go ahead and open it. Doesn't take a whole lot. Take. So just enough to cover it. Just enough to cover it. So you just swish that around then with yep. your. Just swish it. Swish it around. And just enough to cover it. Just enough to cover it, and then you want to get the lid put on it so that you don't have all the alcohol evaporating. Now this is just going to sit for a couple of hours. And now for the last stage is prepping the stuff that helps it absorb, which is the fatty acid, which is the butter and or coconut oil. So I'm going to take and melt these. You can do it in a microwave by just putting them in here and nuking it until it's melted. Or you can take and use a pan on top of a stove, which is actually a little easier if you're doing a combination of the two like I like doing because then it's easier to mix but otherwise you can just take a stick put it in there and nuke it until it's melted with the wrapper off yeah with the wrapper off and it's just <laughs> showing it easier gotta have a little fun in doing this yeah <laughs> something that everybody should know about coconut oil is that at room temperature it is a liquid but just slightly below your average room temperature, it is a solid. So, hmm. just something for everybody to know about it so you don't think it's bad when you get it. So how much of that are you going to put in your jar? Uh, approximately eight tablespoons. Eight tablespoons? Yeah, eight tablespoons to about eight tablespoons. I do half and half. And so that I can take just a little bit and mix it in with my tea. What is the purpose of this? The fatty acids help you absorb the cannabinoids. And like THC in it. Yeah, like THC, correct. Okay. This here is my absorber. It helps it helps absorb the THC into my body. And this is coconut oil and butter, 50-50. And this is in the liquid form until it solidifies, which is hardens a little.